And federal investigators are looking at a new alleged incident involving Norfolk Southern Railway. It comes just weeks after the toxic Ohio train derailment and as the CEO testifies on Capitol Hill today. Transportation reporter Sam Sweeney joins me now for more on this along with Jay O'Brien live on Capitol Hill. Jay, Norfolk Southern CEO uh, is testifying today before the Senate's Environment and Public Works Committee. What are you expecting to hear today from him and from the senators questioning him? Well, we expect senators to grill Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw. We also obtained a little bit of his prepared remarks at the beginning of this hearing, his prepared testimony. Here's a little of what Shaw is going to tell senators. I'll read it to you. I'm deeply sorry for the impact this derailment has had on the people of East Palestine and surrounding communities, and I am determined to make it right. We will clean the site safely, thoroughly, and with urgency. A little, again, of what Alan Shaw is going to tell senators. But we expect senators to grill the Norfolk Southern CEO about safety, about the impacts that this derailment has had on the people of East Palestine. And we know that there is significant interest in this hearing, both from the senators on this committee, but broadly across Capitol Hill as they consider rail reforms in the wake of that derailment, Diane. Now, Sam, the NTSB and Department of Transportation are investigating Norfolk Southern. And now we're hearing that they're looking at this February 27th incident that went unreported. What more do we know about that? Diane, this was a train that was more than a mile long. It was uh, approaching Winston-Salem, North Carolina, or Stoneville, North Carolina, headed to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, when it was alerted that one of its cars, car number 32, was trending hot. This is exactly the type of thing that unfolded in East Palestine just a few weeks earlier. The crew told the dispatchers that they wanted to stop the train and inspect it, but instead, according to this report that was uh, leaked to ABC News, the... the uh, Dispatcher said continue on for 40 more miles despite that car trending hot. And it was car 32, which was carrying uh, flammable chemicals, and it was near uh, another train that had propane in it. So some serious safety concerns here that the Federal Railroad Administration is also now investigating. Now, Jay, do you think we'll hear questions from senators about that new incident today? It's likely we're going to hear senators question Norfolk Southern overall on its safety record. That new incident now coming up, it, it, it comes ahead of this hearing. You can never really guess what senators are going to say in a hearing like this, but we do know that there is a significant bipartisan appetite to push Norfolk Southern on its safety record and then to look at possible fixes, not just to Norfolk Southern safety record, but across the board, Diane. Now, Jay, in the wake of the toxic Ohio train derailment, a bipartisan group of lawmakers introduced legislation that would tighten government-backed safety requirements for trains carrying hazardous materials. So what would that bill do, and what could this hearing mean for the possibility that this actually passes? Well, it's interesting because this hearing, it's being labeled as a grilling, right? Senators grilling the CEO of Norfolk Southern. But it's also all pinged around this legislation. It's going to begin with Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio and J.D. Vance, the new senator of Ohio, as well as Senator Pennsylvania Bob Casey, a bipartisan gathering there talking about this bipartisan rail safety legislation. It has a number of factors in it. One of the things it does is create more strict safeguards on safety for uh, trains carrying toxic chemicals like the one that derailed at East Palestine. It'll create a duty for them to inform the communities that they're going through, that they're carrying chemicals. So this hearing, like to springboard even more support or at least more attention to that legislation, Diane. All right, Sam Sweeney, Jay O'Brien, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.